Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Eicher, editor of Astronomy Magazine, and I'm a deep sky guy. I know a lot of you are really into deep sky objects as well. Star clusters, nebulae, and galaxies. The sky is filled with them. There are thousands of them that we can see at any given time with a small or medium-sized telescope. And there's a really good one that's in the evening sky this time of year. It's the Rosette Nebula in Monoceros. This is a star-forming region, an emission nebula, so-called, that's glowing hydrogen gas that gravity is pulling back down to form a star cluster, a new generation of stars. This object is relatively close to us in the galaxy. It's about 5,200 light years away. It spans about 120 light years across. That's roughly about 100 times the size of our solar system. So it's a large cluster of young infant stars. You can see them in a binocular. Uh, or if you take a small telescope out, you'll also see under a dark sky this faint greenish glowing gas that represents the emission nebula. You know that stars are involved in this universe in a giant recycling program, and that's what gas that's expelled out from previous generations comes together by gravity and forms a new generation of infant suns. Check out the Rosette Nebula in Monoceros. It'll look great in your Celestron binoculars or telescope under a dark sky, or maybe you want to capture an image of it with one of your Celestron instruments as well. The Rosette Nebula in Monoceros, it's a keeper. It's one of the great nebulae we have in our winter sky. I'll see you next time.